Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick review of the latest build of Windows 10. So yesterday, June 14th, um, late in the day, there was a release of Windows 10 Insider Preview build 14.366 to Insiders on the Fast Ring. So what's new? Not much because you know what? We are a month away now from anniversary updates. So it means that pretty much everything um, that has new features has been pretty much done. So there ain't much new things here. Um, what there is, is a lot of bug fixes. Uh, typically, if I look at the bug fixes, uh, it's a huge list of bug fixes that they've released with this build. So basically, if you had issues or problems, this is um, you know a build where a lot of things are got fixed. So the install went very well. It was the usual nice and good install that you know has no problems at all. Typically uh, gave me uh, the welcome screen. And of course, as you send the watermark on the bottom right, it's a build 14366. Um, one of the things that is notable because a lot of you were kind of really stressed out at the fact that the insider preview would expire uh, mid-July, I believe. This build extends the insider preview date of expiry to October 1st so that means that you have more months so if you don't have an official Windows 10 um, machine where it's activated the insider build will work up to October 1st and I expect to maybe have that go a little farther uh, maybe up to like January when they uh, release the uh, next uh, insider preview so Nothing much, like I said, what is uh, notable about this uh, build. A new, once again, new version of the Windows Store, trying to get things to work better and, um, of course, working around. So, you know, it looks nice. It looks better. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting. I think there's a possibility of getting this really, uh, really well. Um, still, you know, some weird things like, for example, these lines of apps, I find totally weird, but uh, at the top, they've, you know, really helped and uh, made things better so you can click uh, and easily get different uh, apps, of course, on the store. Um, still not probably the final version that we'll see, but very close. So here in the store, you can have, you know, apps, games, music, movies, TV shows and stuff. Another thing that they've tweaked is the extensions. Uh, they've added a new extension in uh, the um, in this uh, build with Microsoft Edge. So when you go to extensions, you now have the possibility to get this extension. So this is the extension for uh, Microsoft Office Online, which is cool because it means you can open in the browser itself any documents, Word, Excel, and so on. So that's a, a nice extension. It works with OneDrive as you see here. So everything is uh, nice for that. And of course, all you have to do is, you know, head to the extensions uh, and get extensions from the store. And there you'll see that uh, in the extensions, you have the new Office Online extension, which lets you uh, work and create uh, lots of documents. Finally, LastPass didn't work last time. I remember, uh, if you remember and followed me, I told you it didn't work. It does this time after this build. It actually gave me the possibility to use LastPass. All I have to do is log in and uh, enter my password. So that's pretty cool. Uh, works well for that. Lots of improvements, mostly stability and reliability uh, improvements in this build. So that's why you don't see many features. I don't expect, and actually Donna Sarkar did say, uh, you know what, don't expect any new stuff in the next few builds because it will be bug fixes. What's nice about this build is what's got fixed, uh, but also, there are a few bugs left, but you know what? Desktop app converter preview, uh, Project Centennial will fail to run. So if you uh, need to use that, 
if you click a file download link outside of Microsoft Edge, sometimes Edge will open a tab and close it without doing anything. So workaround is to download, uh, is go to the download pane and start the download there by clicking save or save as. And Narrator does not launch when you toggle switch to on via settings app ease of access in Narrator. So these are the three problems. Pretty cool when you see that there's only three problems in this build. Everything else is fixed. So if you had issues with antivirus uh, uh, and different stuff, it's gone. These are all fixed. And this is mostly what's happening in this build. Fixes and um, you know stability issues. Stability-wise, no problems at all. Everything worked well. I've tried everything. It seems to be okay. What's the weather like? Seems it's not... Uh, but oh, didn't hear anything. Let's try it again. Okay, here we go. What's the weather like? And here we go. So Cortana works fine. Uh, a little glitch here, but I know it's probably um, a problem with my uh, edge set. By the way, I'm sorry about the hum for all of those that are hearing the hum. Uh, mostly those that have uh, subwoofers on their computers, speakers, because in regular speakers we don't hear it very low frequency hum um, and so it's a great build and we are getting close to the anniversary update and it, it really shows here one thing that is um, interesting is the feedback of they um, are actually asking insiders uh, to do quests so basically every time there are um, some there's something new they're gonna actually ask you to do a number of quests a number of things to basically um, help them find any problems so basically um, here you see that it says insider activity quest completed uh, it's because now they want you to find bugs so they will give you quests there's 24-hour quests uh, these 24-hour uh, quests mean that they last only one day. You need to do what they want and try to find any bugs. And there will be other quests that are a little longer. Basically, you have to go into the settings. They're going to say, well, for example, go into settings, go in here, go that, change this, change that, change the colors, change. All in the hope that you might actually find a bug or error message or blue screen. And so that information will be sent to them and you'll be able to help them get a very, very stable uh, insider preview. So uh, pretty cool. And um, basically, if you want to have fun and have some time on your hands to help with the quests, <coughs> sorry, add on to the feedback hub. That's where it's all happening. And uh, it will keep you uh, going through the uh, Windows 10 insider preview and help them fix the bugs that are left in this preview if you enjoy my videos please subscribe you'll know when new videos are online give us thumbs up hope you enjoyed this little look at the insider preview and uh, as we're really getting close to the anniversary update um, it's going to be uh, very interesting to see what the next builds uh, will have probably nothing new but mostly bug fixes um, coming up and it's going to be interesting to see when we get the official release. Um, if we look at anniversary update, we got it about two weeks before the official release. So, um, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised that end of June, early July, we get this anniversary update official release as insiders. And uh, we'll get it, of course, a few, uh, a few weeks before everybody. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Hope you enjoy our videos. If you've installed this uh, Insider Preview, why not share your own comments with it and uh, let us know if you found anything going, uh, not going well. <laughs>